Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is Takeshi Yasui in Tokushima University, Japan. Today, I will present the generation of terahertz wave at the 560 gigahertz band based on the photo mixing of 560 gigahertz spacing solid microcon with the UTCPD. Go to background. The, this slide shows the history of mobile wireless communication from 1G to 6G. Technical evolution occurs every 10 years by increasing the wireless carrier frequency for the high-speed large capacity wireless communications. The present 5G use wireless carrier are over up to 28 gigahertz. And the next 6G will use a carrier wave over 300 gigahertz. So this is a terahertz wave. So there are still two technical challenges for 6G. The first challenge is a technical limitation of wireless electronics. Until the 5G, the wireless electronics have been widely used. However, uh, in the next 6G, the, such uh, wireless electronics may face the uh, upper limit of frequency electronics, such as uh, low signal quality and increased signal loss. Therefore, there is a need for the a paradigm shift beyond the upper frequency limit of wireless electronics. The second challenge is a technical gap between optical and wireless communications. The present ICT is achieved by a combination of optical communication based on the photonics and wireless communications based on the electronics. In this case, at the connecting point between the optical and the wireless communications, a signal conversion between the optical and the electric region is required. So uh, such a signal conversion on course a time delay. Until 5G, such a time delay can is negligible. However, as the next 6G, it requires ultra low latency in the wireless communication. So in this case, such a time delay uh, cannot be ignored. So all seamless connection between optical and wireless communications is uh, required. So all these two technical challenges arise from the use of electronics in wireless communications. So if so, one can achieve the uh, 6G by use of photonics in place of uh, electronics, that this problem will be overcome. So we define the 6G boosted by photonics as a photonic 6G. Key of photonic 6G is optical frequency COM or OFC. The OFC is composed of a series of frequency spikes regularly separated by a constant frequency like here. So the OFC possesses both characteristics of narrow line views and broad spectral coverage together with a constant frequency spacing. The most important characteristics of OFC is given by this equation, where the new M is uh, uh, optical frequency of each OFC mode. FGO is a carrier envelope offset frequency. FREP is a frequency spacing. And M is a mode number of OFC. Since uh, FGO and FREP a photonic radio frequency signal around the several tens of megahertz. This equation indicates a coherent link of frequency between optical and the electric region. For example, if the FREP and the FCEO are phase locked to an electric frequency standard by laser control, the uh, uncertainty of the frequency standard can be transferred to optical signal of new M. So in this case, OFC can work as an optical frequency ruler secured by the electric frequency standard. Recently, the optical frequency standard with a much better performance appeared, such as the optical lattice clock. So in this case, if the new M, it can is phase rock to the optical frequency standard by laser control, Excellent uncertainty of the optical frequency standard can be transferred to the electric signal of FREP. So in this case, the optical comb can work as a frequency converter or frequency gear between the from optical to electric regions. So OFC can be used for generation of ultra-stable electric wave in RF 
microwave and millimeter wave. However, for the 60 e wireless carrier, how we can uh, further increase the FREP over 300 gigahertz? So the answer is given by a micro resonator optical cone or micro cone. So this shows uh, a technical evolution or tempor temporal evolution of OFC technology. The first generation is a Titan Sapphire cone with a bulky, complicated, and expensive setup. The second generation is a fiber cone with a middle side enabling a tanky operation. The third generation is a micro cone. Key of micro comb is a micro ring resonator uh, made of the optical waveguides such as a silicon nitride. So when the CW laser light is coupled into the a micro ring resonator, a stable soliton comb can be generated like here. So such a micro comb benefit from mass production possible with a semiconductor process, small cost effective, simple aspect, and high compatibility with the silicon electronics and the silicon photonics. Therefore, the micro comb can give the versatility to OFC, so which is lacking in the previous OFC. Furthermore, the, since the uh, uh, cavity size of micro comb is largely reduced down to the micrometer order, FREP is largely increased up to the 60 wireless carrier frequency, so around the several hundred gigahertz. Next slide shows the principal operation for all photonic terrace generation using a, a micro comb. Micro comb generates an uh, uh, optical comb spectrum with uh, frequency spacing around the, uh, of FREP around the, uh, several hundred gigahertz. And then the optical band pass filter uh, extracts two adjacent OFC mode with the frequency spacing of FREP. So these two OFC modes generate the optical bit signal in time domain at the telecommunication band of 1.55 micrometer, like here. The bit signal, bit frequency or envelope frequency is exactly equal to uh, the FREP here. And then the, this optical bit signal is converted into the corresponding terahertz wave by an uh, optical to electric converter such as a UTCPD. The resulting terahertz wave has a, a frequency of F terahertz, which is exactly equal to F rep. So in this way, the uh, low phase characteristics of F rep in micro comb, solid micro comb can be directly transferred to the terahertz wave. We first generate a uh, uh, 560 gigahertz terahertz wave. Ref shows the optical spectrum of micro comb. So uh, with a frequency spacing of 560 gigahertz and uh, uh, center wavelengths around uh, uh, 1.55 micrometer, so telecommunication band. And the micro comb is fed into the UTC PD to generate a terahertz wave with F terahertz. The resulting terahertz wave propagated in free space and then detected by subharmonic mixer equipped with a local oscillator with FLO. The resulting heterodyne bit signal was measured by RF spectrum analyzer. Light shows the RF spectrum of heterodyne bit signal indicating the uh, bit signal at 150 megahertz here. Based on this equation, the F terahertz was determined to be the 560.03 gigahertz, so which is exactly equal to F rep. Uh, Roa shows the phase noise of F rep and F terahertz indicated by red and blue color. The comparison between them clearly indicated that the, uh, they have uh, almost similar uh, phase noise. In other words, uh, uh, photo mixing with UTC PD does not support the phase noise of F rep and directly correctly transfer as uh, a phase noise of, of F terahertz of F rep to F terahertz. So here we use a free running micro comb. And next we stabilize a uh, uh, micro comb based on micro comb based on the TWDI. 
So two wavelengths delayed cetrodyne, delayed self-heterodyne interferometer, like here. The a microcomb is split in two U fiber paths. The one is a frequency shifted by AOM indicated by a red solid line. And the other is time delayed by spool fiber without the change of optical frequency, so indicated by red solid line. And then and they are combined again to generate optical bit signal between the uh, two adjustments OFC mode. And then so uh, the two uh, bandpass filter uh, extracts uh, uh, two uh, pair of the optical bit signal at the different wavelengths like here, and then detected by photodiode. The resulting bit signal is electrically mixed again, and then the resulting bit electric bit signal is used for the current control of pump LD to stabilize the FREP. Left shows a comparison of phase noise between free running microcom and stabilized microcom. So uh, compare with uh, free running microcomb indicated by blue color, stabilized microcomb indicated by red color achieves uh, minus 100 uh, dBc per hertz at uh, 10 kilo offset, 10, uh, frequency offset of 10 kilohertz here. Right shows a comparison of phase noise between stabilized f lab and f terahertz. So similar to the free learning microcomb, the phase spectra of f rep and f terahertz are almost overlap to each other like here. So in this way, as even in the stabilized microcomb, the UTCPD does not spoil the phase noise, low, ultra low phase noise of f rep uh, and can correctly uh, transfer uh, the uh, phase noise characteristic to f terahertz. Finally, so we summarize the present talk used at no, no, we finally demonstrate the uh, on keying wireless communication at 560 gigahertz. So uh, here we use a free running microcom and the two adjacent mode it were uh, extracted by bandpass filter. So one is amplitude modulated by lithium nitrate modulator using a two gigabore OK okay signal. The other one is unmodulated. And then they are combined and fed into the UCCPD. So this, this result in the generation of OK modulated terahertz wave with F terahertz. And then so the terahertz wave is detected by short key barrier diode for all the square root detection. And then the resulting temporal waveform was measured by real time oscilloscope. This uh, graph shows the resulting temporal waveform of the OK signal. So which is corresponding to the I pattern of two gigabore OK signal. So we can and um, you can one can confirm the I is open. The corresponding Q factor was determined to be 3.40, so which is within a limit of forward error correction. Finally, we summarize the present talk using this slide. Thank you for your kind attentions.